After more than four years, the trial of accused deputy killer Michael Astorga finally started in full today with opening statements, while prosecutors painted Astorga as a cold-blooded killer with a definite reason to kill. The defense painted the case against Astorga as flimsy at best. News 13's Alex Tomlin reports. The last thing that's ever heard from Deputy Green. The prosecution painted the grisly image of what happened to Deputy James McGrain Jr. in the cold, early morning hours of March 22, 2006, near to Harris. To the chin, James, James McGrain, and out the back, that he was dead before he even hit the ground. Prosecutors say Astorga was wanted for another crime. He killed McGrain to avoid going to jail. They say he even bragged about it to friends while hiding out in Juarez. I'm the one who blasted the cop. He used a gun to kill Deputy James McGrain in cold blood and murder. Astorga's defense attorney fired back in his opening, say he'll prove Astorga was in Albuquerque when McGrain was murdered. This investigation ceased to be an investigation rather quickly and turned into a persecution. Mitchell then said investigators can't put Astorga at the scene and that it may not have even been Astorga's truck. There should have been some blowback on the side of the vehicle. There is none. There should have been something there connecting DNA or whatever a deputy crane to the pickup. There is none. After Mitchell was done, prosecutors called BCSO detective Sam White to the stand. He was a good friend of mine. We always called him. I always called him Jimmy. White rushed to the scene moments after the shooting. I ran towards Jimmy. I was just yelling, Jimmy, several times. I was trying to get some type of response. He checked McGrain's pulse. I felt, uh, could have sworn one or two good beats. White says he felt the beats weaken, then stop. You need to try everything that you can. And that's what I was doing. Detective White says it was clear that McGrain never had a chance because he didn't have time to go for his own gun. Dick? Okay, Alex White did say he thought McGrain had radioed that there were two people in the truck he pulled over. That is a key part of the defense case. They say other witnesses also reported seeing two people fleeing the 